uh, we have to put some input variables and also some output variables to map those creating the manual discount manual adjustment here in the so now we are quickly adding another element to the pricing procedure that is the manual discount so what is manual discount there is a flexibility uh, to support individual customers uh, you know to provide some additional discount as per the sales representative okay so to do that what we have to do we have to add another component here okay? so i am clicking on the plus button i am taking the manual discount element here okay so for the manual discount element we don't have to you know use any of our lookup tables but uh, we have to put some input variables and also some output variables to map those whenever we are trying to calculate it okay so if we open the input variable then we have our adjustment type so i am writing adjust adjustment adjust type over the adjustment type section so now we are going to adjust the adjustment value we have so for that we have to write adjustment value yeah we have fine okay so one thing here like these are the context tags that we are using these context tags are defined in the context definition and tokens we have for these context tag context tags are mentioned with the actual data source those are map in that context definition okay so now in the quantity we are adding line item quantity for the unit price you are writing net unit price okay now for the output variable net unit price after all we don't have to take the output variable here we don't have to add any additional variable so one thing we have to do that is you know include in output checkbox as true and then we have to make the save button so this way you can see we are creating the manual discount manual adjustment here in the pricing procedure next what we are going to do we are you know, going to add the attribute based pricing adjustment there and after that we will run some of the example the real time example we will add some code we will you know provide different scenarios while adding the product in the code and then we will see how these pricing adjustments are there working